The Night Circus After her mother takes her own life, Celia Bowen is delivered to the theater where her father, Hector Bowen, is working under the stage name Prospero the Enchanter. Hector becomes quite interested in the remarkable power the five-year-old demonstrates when she breaks a teacup and immediately reforms it. Realizing Celia is special, Hector contacts his old competitor, the man in the gray suit, and challenges him to a game. After seeing Celia's abilities for himself, he agrees to Hector's proposal and finds an orphan, Marco Alisdair, to be his player. Both children are bound to their challenge with a ring. Their identities are initially kept secret from the other. Years pass as Marco and Celia are trained in magic using very different methods. Both Hector and the man in the gray suit are vague about the rules of the challenge, but training for it becomes Marco and Celia's whole existence. When Marco comes to of age, he moves out and begins his life as an independent person. He meets a young woman named Isabel Martin, with whom he develops a romance. Meanwhile, Celia travels with her father disguised as spiritual medium until they land permanently in New York. While there, Hector attempts a challenging manipulation of magic. It goes horribly wrong and results in Hector dissolving into a non-corporeal form. Hector's death is announced but he lives on his ghostly version of himself. In London, the man in the gray suits arranged for Marco to begin working as assistant to acclaimed theater producer, Chandres Christophe Lefebvre. Chandres begins work on the night circus along with group of talented people who help bring his vision to life. The group becomes known internally as the conspirators. Chandres' fellow conspirators are Ethan Barris, Anna Tante, Padva, Tara and Lanain Burgess and the man in the gray suit, whom they call Mr. A. The conspirators are unaware that the circus is also the venue for Celia and Marcus' magical challenge. As the circus nears its opening, a mysterious woman named Tsukiko joins the conspirators. She is hired to become the circus contortionist, a renowned German clockmaker, her Frederick Tennyson is commissioned to make a clock for the circus. When he's complete, his clock or dream clock serves as the circus centerpiece. Soon after, the man in the gray suit sends a note to Hector's ghost, indicating that the challenge is officially underway. Celia auditions at the night circus as an illusionist. Her demonstration is so incredible that Chandres has marked a dismiss the other in the waiting room and decided she will be the sole illusionist at the night circus. Marco realizes immediately that Celia is his opponent. The circus opens at dusk just outside of London in October 1886. Marco turns the elaborate bonfire lighting ceremony into a secret ritual that binds all the participants to the circus. That same night, the Murray twins are born. The night circus travels the world as the challenge unfolds over the course of the next several years. True neither really understands the rules of the game. Celia and Marco make moves by creating new attractions run by their magic. It is easier for Celia who travels with the circus because Marco is stuck in London. He uses Isabel to spy for him. It isn't until a chance encounter in Prague that Celia discovers Marco is her opponent. Celia declines Marco's initial request to speak about the challenge. Sometime later, sometime later, Celia begins attending the dinners that Chandresh holds for the conspirators. Where Marco is in attendance, Marco and Celia become increasingly drawn to one another, and this fascination slowly develops into love. When Hector realizes that Celia is trying to find a way to be with Marco, he reveals that the challenge is one of endurance and the only way to win is for one of them to be unable to participate. Celia is upset and hopes to find a way around the rules. Celia starts studying Marco's style of magic 
to find a way to distangle herself from the night circus so it can continue on without her. When she learns that Chukiko was the victor of the previous challenge, Celia seeks her advice. Chukiko does not agree to help but says she will step in on behalf of the circus if necessary. A young man named Bailey Clark becomes fascinated with the night circus when it arrives near his home in Concord. Bailey is 10 when his older sister dares him to break into the circus during a daytime. While there, he meets Puppet Murray who offers him her glove as a proof that he made it inside. When the circus returns many years later, Bailey spends several nights exploring its mysteries with Puppet and Widget. Puppet foresees that Bailey will involved in a moment that puts the circus fate and all those lied to it in peril. She asks Bailey to live with the circus when it departs Concord. That night, the circus leaves before Bailey can make it back, so he travels with a group of fans known as who follow the circus to its new location outside of New York. Bailey arrives at the circus to find it completely frozen in a place save for Chokiko, who guides him to the ghostly remnants of Celia and Marco. The two explain that Celia is holding the circus together but her magic is whining. They ask Bailey to take over the circus and offer to teach him to control it. He agrees because he loves the circus and puppet, who will be lost if the circus disappears. The novel closes with the challenge being deemed a stalemate as in neither Celia nor Marco can participate. Puppet, Widget, and Bailey take over the night circus and it continues to the modern day.